because of copyright, I can only show you a short clip of this video. Today, I'm going to continue our discussion in building different parts of the kayak. But near the middle, you may notice there's a longer piece of corpus, as I illustrate here, being inserted into this slot, this lattice cap. I add this flap or extra piece of corpus. It will provide a thicker edge where I can mount the lattice cap, and it will be used for keeping the floor from moving when I place the floor into the boat. This is the cross section near the middle part of the boat. This is the lattice cap. This is the extra piece of coral plus. And when I insert the floor into the middle part of the boat, it will keep the floor in the right place and keep it from moving. Even if the boat is flipped over, it will stay in place. This piece is the same as this piece. There's another piece on the side, and this is the floor, and this is the floor. Let's take a look at the floor. It basically is a sheet of coral plus, which is being bended or folded into a U-shape. I want to extend this one here a little bit further overlapped it into the full line here because this extra length create extra support along the weak part of the bow where the full line is. Same with the back. Because you are going to use 4mm thick coral plus, you may have to double or even triple the thickness of the coral plus to get the strength you need so that there will not be any bending at the transition point that is the middle to the bow and the middle to the stern this is the outline of the floor the lower part of the floor is extended crossing the transition areas where I marked it in yellow and where those are the fold lines and the floor provide extra support crossing the transition point. When you make the floor, I suggest you to stack up three layers of coral plus. And please pay attention to the direction of the channel. For the first layer, which is in red, uh, the channel goes in the direction of the zone. And then for the second layer, which is in blue, I suggest you to place the channels right and go to the first layer. As for the third coral plus, which I use green color, and the channel will be horizontal again, same as the one in red. When you fuse the coral plus, you, all you need just to fuse the edges of the coral plus. You don't have to fuse the middle at all, you don't need to. Doing it at the edge will be good enough. Let's say if you don't like to use fusion, you can always use a Gorilla Glue, which I have tried it too, and you really don't need to spread the glue all over the surface. You just do some kind of zigzag lines, and it will be good enough to hold the corpus sheets together. Of course, you can always use a tape to tape them together. I suggest you to put Gorilla Tape at the edges so as to prevent the edge from cutting your hand while you are trying to install the floor. As on the placement of the seat, you find the midpoint of the boat and then move about 5 inches and that's the place where you want to sit on it and I mount a cross beam here to give me support for the back. With 4mm thick coral plus, my friend add extra beams around here. And he has a total of 4.
The bow and the stern can be closed very easily. I use a drill and also soldering iron to create slots going through the coral plast and then insert in a lashing to hold the bow and the stern tightly together. One interesting part of this design is you can extend the center portion and, and make it longer so you can see two people. You will have to add more cross beam and also strengthen the floor. These triangles are used to fold the boat smaller for transportation. I suggest you to put extra gorilla tape on the underside of the, of the boat and also at these areas that is to protect this area and also this area and also this area and also at the back there in my next video I will show you how I fold the boat together if you like this content please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Thanks, see you again.